Good morning, guys. Thanks for listening to Coffee with Christ. If you haven't subscribed, hit the button below. I hope you've had an amazing weekend. It's Monday. We're going to be talking about the Jesus factor. And before we jump into that, let me tell you how my morning's going so far. Guess what? I just videoed this whole Coffee with Christ and it wasn't even on. <laughs> Duh. I just don't even know. So it was really good. I hope. It's as good this time. So you know that we've been in Exodus. I've been landing there in my own study time. And so I've been bringing these and I love it. It's great. But I was thinking about, um, you know, we all can identify with Zipporah. We can identify that it was probably too much for her and she went back. We can identify with the Israelites, the fact that they were heavy burdened and they had no security and it was hard to walk out and learn that they could rely on God. Like we can put ourselves in that position because we feel those same things. You know, we're angry because we're insecure and we have no security and we project that onto whoever is, is around us. I mean, we get that. Like, we got that so much. But one thing that I want us to get, I want us to identify with the hope of Jesus. Because right now, we have access to the Savior. You know, whereas in the fullness of time, they had their journey, but they didn't, they didn't, Jesus hadn't come yet. They didn't have that access like we do. There's the Jesus factor. You know, the miracle, the blessing, the hope, the help of a Savior. And so... You may feel like Zipporah. You may feel like Moses, the Israelites. But the game changer in your life is Jesus. And so I want to read to you Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Jesus said this, and this is just beautiful. I'm going to read this to you out of the Amplified Version. Come to me, all who are heavy, weary, and burdened by religious rituals and that provide no peace. I'm sorry. I don't read the Amplified Version that much. And I will give you rest, refreshing your souls with salvation. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, following me as my disciple. For I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest, renewal, blessed quiet for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear and my burden is light. What I love, it's just beautiful. Jesus is saying, come, come to me. Who, who are we going to? We're coming to a person. When you feel hopeless or you feel burdened, you feel tired. Anybody else ever feel this way? Feel entangled in sin? Like I'm doing the very thing that I don't want to do. Jesus is saying, come to me, come to a person. You're coming to a person, the person of Jesus. All, all who are weary and heavy burdened. He doesn't put stipulations. So when Jesus says all, he means all. He is open. He is open armed for everybody. And so I know that, um, you know, there are people out there right now that are entangled in sin. They're entangled in the slavery and the bondage of sin. And he, Jesus says, come. There are people right now that maybe you've been hurt so badly by somebody that you are paralyzed in life. Like they have wounded you deep in your soul. Jesus is saying, come, come. You know, maybe, maybe you're out there and you have tried to go to church and like it didn't work. Like maybe you didn't feel accepted. Maybe you didn't feel anything. You know, that's the only thing, you know, like the ri religious ritual of I'm going to go to church on Sunday morning and you tried that. So you checked it off and you're like, it didn't work. Jesus, the person is saying, come. He doesn't say go to church. All oh, you are heavy, weary and burdened. Yes, you can meet Jesus at church, but you know what? You're going to a person. You can do it right there in your living room. Come. Are you um, somebody who maybe, maybe you've walked with Jesus for years and years and you're just tired. You're just tired. Life has just been heavy. You know, you have to come again. You continually come to Jesus. It isn't a one-time thing, guys. I come to Jesus. I hear him beckoning me every day. Come when I'm overwhelmed and I, I can feel the pressure of life, whatever it is. Maybe it's stupid to everybody else, but I feel it in me. You know, it's just pressure. And, and, and I can feel him. He's saying, come, come in that. So come and encounter the Savior. 
That, that's what this Coffee with Christ is about. Come, wherever you're at, come and encounter the Savior because Jesus loves you and he is beckoning you. He is calling you to come to him and let him help you. Let him help you. Have a great day, guys. It's a great reminder. That is a great reminder for every single person who's clicked on this. Have a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow.